not stopping till we're exalted. Sitting up with fucking millions, I ain't halted. I'm quick to pick it up and kill him. I take what he left off and continue to grill him. Electrified, I'm turning up the wattage. I'm a stalker with a machete outside your cottage. Once you spotted and dotted, you're dropping and rotting. Me and X are just the opposite of Batman and Robin. You probably think that the best way to get some not hide leather is to farm black morass, right? That used to be a good farm, I think. And well, nowadays you'd be wrong. Because in the amount of time that it takes to follow each little stream in the swamp and gather up all the crocolisks, and maybe you might be tempted to try and find each of the panthers that prowl around in stealth and round them all up and AoE them all down and skin them. Oh, and hopefully you brought a worgen or a potion to help you skin them faster because they'll despawn in the amount of time that you try to skin them normally. And speaking of normally, if you actually try to attempt this farm, you'll want to have the dungeon set to normal because you'll get more not hide leather per run than you would on heroic. Perhaps this is maybe because they're supposed to be harder elites and so the skinning is still orange as if you didn't have high enough level skinning. But even with my worgen passive, it still wasn't enough. And so if you do this run on heroic, you'll end up with more not hide scraps than you do not hide leather. And what's the difference in that? Well, you get around two to three not hide scraps off of each mob, and it takes five not hide scraps to make one leather. So you're essentially wasting every other kill to actually skin one leather. And not to mention the time you have to take out to actually combine the scraps to leather. I also think that Blizzard may have nerfed this at one point in time or something, because I also vaguely remember that back in the day, if you went and started the boss encounter, they would all pull, and they don't do that anymore. And I so wish they did. Why am I telling you this? To save you the time. And, oh, so I could actually put this garbage footage to good use instead of wasting all the time and just throwing it away, because it's completely worthless. So if you're still with me, the real farm that I found for getting not hide leather at the same rate as my sunken temple farm is in Karazhan specifically in the servants quarter which is directly to your right when you walk in the raid the whole run is about 20 minutes and you'll get roughly six to eight hundred leather you'll also get not hide leather scraps just like in black morass but it's actually worth it because you also get fell hide which tends to sell really well on my server not to mention the boes that could drop too there's a caveat with this farm though it's not as simple as the Sunken Temple run. Well, it's easy to run, it's just you're gonna try and skip all the spiders. This is easier to do on the way in than the way out because for some reason they aggro very easily. Unlike the bats, who I usually have to do a shimmy, the limbo, and a Mexican hat dance to try to get these assholes to pay attention to me. And when they do finally pay attention to me, even though I'm level 100 and friggin' 20, they have a chance to stun, silence, and slow. None of which my druid can shapeshift out of, for some reason. So, if you can deal with some of those nuances, then you should be in pretty good shape. Because each run takes about 3-4 to four minutes and is wash, rinse, repeatable for up to 10 times until your lockout occurs. So, if you have multiple skinners, you can trade off and on. Or you can do what I do and incur the lockout and then switch to another farming tune and maybe go pick some herbs and mine some ore. Or run a different dungeon that takes around 40 minutes to try and keep up that sweet minty gold per hour. <laughs>